In this video, we're going to demonstrate the simple advantages of the Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi Admin UI over Cisco Meraki when setting up a guest Wi-Fi network. Let's start with Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi, where all it takes is six wizard-guided steps to set up a guest Wi-Fi SSID with multiple social login options across multiple venues. First, we go to Networks and click Add Network. We'll create a public guest network. Let's name it Guest Wi-Fi. Then select Captive Portal and click Next. Choose either Self Sign-In or Click Through, which requires no sign-in. In this case, we'll use Self Sign-In. Then we'll enable login using SMS, all of these social options, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Here, you can customize the Captive Portal, add a welcome message or change the default logo. You can also add a promotional message and terms of service. Preview the changes on the right. Select the venues or sites where you want the network enabled. If you have multiple venues, they'll show up here too. We'll turn on a couple just for our demo. Let's check the changes we made. They look correct. Now, we'll configure the network using advanced network settings. You have choices like changing VLAN and rate limiting. Let's use 5 megs for uploads and 10 for downloads. Keep the defaults for the rest of the settings for better performance. Click OK and then Create. That's it! Six simple steps and you're done. Easy, right? Now, let's try doing the same thing using Meraki. Go to Wireless and under Configure, click SSIDs. We'll change the name of our demo site to Guest Wi-Fi. Click Save. Then, click Edit Settings to get to Access Control. First off, make sure you're managing the proper SSID. Now, let's set up Access. Notice that there's no way to set up Access for all social logins at once. In fact, we only have two choices, Facebook and Google, which is the only option in third-party credentials. This means we'll have to create separate SSIDs for each social login. So, let's start with Facebook. Now, we'll want to customize this page. To do that, we actually have to leave the portal. We're not going to go through all of that because it takes a while. So, let's look at traffic shaping. That means going back to wireless and finding firewall and traffic shaping. You'll see that using the slider limits you to matching values. If you want different rate limits, you need to type in the numbers. Okay, it seems like we've created the guest Wi-Fi network, right? Not yet. We still have to create separate networks for Google and SMS access. So while we're here, we might as well change the name of this first network to Facebook Wi-Fi. Unlike with Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi, Meraki gives you no way to create one guest Wi-Fi SSID that allows multiple social login options along with SMS authentication. You have to create separate SSIDs for each login option and then separately configure each one. So, let's break this down. It could take you 15 steps with Meraki to create an SSID for just your first social login. And then, you have to repeat all those steps to create individual SSIDs and logins for each additional login. Or, you can make things really easy with Ruckus, taking only six steps in one intuitive interface to set up an SSID that applies universally to all of your social logins, making it easy for admins and guests. One and done. The choice is simple. Visit ruckuswireless.com cloud to learn more.